So what happens now? What happens now when something pops up in your life, you know, on your timeline, in your actual life, uh, during your bridge of incidents? Uh, what happens when something unexpected pops up and you do you see it as a problem? Do you see it as a challenge? Do you see it as an obstacle? Or do you see it as an opportunity? I want to suggest to you today and even persuade you to think of everything that pops up in your life that occurs is not only good, but necessary uh, for your improvement on the way to obtaining your goals. I, I want to persuade you of that today. And how am I going to do that? It's just explain a few simple steps and how I believe that life is asking us to look deeper, uh, to ask additional questions, and to really uh, fine tune us so that when we are at the prefaces of becoming the person that has their own successful business or that is in this new corporate venture or that is in this new relationship, that you actually can sustain it. OK, what good is uh, being, you know, promoted if you're going to lose your job in the next few weeks? We want you to be able to sustain it. So unlocking the hidden benefits of life's challenges is what we're talking about today. And I would say to you, uh, I have learned a number of things in my 50 some odd years. One of them is life is really a um, experience of perspective an experience of perspective. And it all depends on who you believe yourself to be. Let me give you an example. One of the books I always rave about uh, that I've read um, and I rave about here on the show is by a gentleman called Charles Hanel, and it's called The Master Key. And one of the concepts there is the idea of a little me you know, the the individual who believes life is happening to him. Uh, he is his name, his sexuality, his, his um, you know, ethnicity, or the big I, that universal connectivity uh, to Christ consciousness. So it depends on who you believe yourself to be. If you're the small, the little me, then that is one perspective, and it is not uh, the most advantageous perspective. Or... You can take the perspective, the awareness of the big eye and just see things in totality and from a different angle. And that is the angle that I suggest uh, we walk through life, understanding that we are connected to all there is, to source energy, to God, whoever and whatever you um, you you decide, you know, the name for that for you. But it's only one light as many candles, one light. So this energy is in all of us. It's only one. It doesn't matter to me uh, what you call it, but that's what we're talking about. So seeing life from that perspective can give you um, a better viewpoint, a better viewpoint of what? Of your life. When things happen to you, we tend to take them very personally. Why? Because they're happening to us. It's, you know, we've been trained that way. So today I want to kind of expose or at least highlight some of the key points. So when things are happening in your life, you don't act immediately. You can act from a quiet, inspired place of action. The first thing is to be still, to be quiet, and then to observe from your larger eye standpoint on what's really taking place here. OK, see the opportunity in everything. Be optimistic. Be always half full. OK, so here's the deal. What usually happens? Well, we're moseying along in, in, in life and something, whatever it is, happens. A breakup. We get fired. Um, uh, something unexpected in our health. And so it leaves us asking why and, and, and these sorts of things and, and maybe even feelings of uh, fear and anxiety and it stresses us out. So let's take the opposite approach. Let's look at it from a bigger perspective. Let's look at things that pop up in our lives as good. Can you look at everything that pops up in your life as good? Well, some things happen to some of us that are obviously not good things, but has something happened to you? I know this personally with me has happened. Something happened within your life, and then a few weeks later or a few months later, or even a year or so later, you look back and say, you know what? I didn't really enjoy that experience, uh, 
It wasn't the great experience at all. I wasn't, I didn't desire that to happen to me, but I can see now why this happened. And I am a better person. I'm a more conscious person. I'm a more aware person. In other words, this benefited me. I didn't see it at the time, but now looking back in hindsight, I can see that this was a benefit to me and I needed to lose that job. I needed to be out of that relationship. I was never going to do it. I was never going to break up, but I needed to be out of that relationship. I didn't want to be cheated on or and things like this, but if that's the way it got me out, it got me out. So here's the thing. Things happen. We ask why, and then we take action and then we get more results. And the suggestion today in this show is for you to, before you take action, go to a quiet place and observe and take inspired action instead. So what does it look like in terms of unlocking the hidden benefits in life's challenge? Well, life is always going to be sending you additional uh, information. Let's start there. Life is going to be sending you additional information. You can interpret it as challenges, obstacles, problems, if that's how you see them. I'm going to encourage you to see them as good, as opportunities, as ways to become, you know, a better person. And you simply ask the question, what is it that the universe, that life is trying to show me right now? When things pop up in your life, you just ask that question. What is it that's trying to be birthed? Because if you agree that your desire is right at the prefaces of your challenge, you know, once I get through this challenge, that that thing that I really want, it's right on the other side of it. All I got to do is get over this fence. That's a really exciting place to be. Because up until that challenge, who knows how far away you were from it. But if you've got one more lesson to learn, one more hurdle to climb before you at your challenge, man, you're really, really close. And that is that's something to be optimistic about because you you know you're very close to your to your goal. So number one, the first thing I'm going to say we we should do is pause and shift our perspective. It's going to be a, a a work in progress because so many of us are pessimistic. So many of us think, you know, face down or um, we think negative first and we have to work our way into some level of positivity. I'm asking you to do something different. When a challenge appears, pause, rather than seeing it as a setback, think of what's being asked here. What do you want? me to learn from this life? What am I to gain from this universe? Ask the question. This is what's good for your meditation, for your mindfulness. Ask the question to yourself. Ask it to the universe. What is it? I just got fired from my job. I just got laid off. I just got, you know, divorced, whatever it is. What is it that I need to learn here? One, I don't want to go back through this again, so let me learn it now so I don't have to repeat this lesson, right? Number two is identify the question behind the challenge. What is the question behind the challenge? Consider this. What desire or dream of yours does this problem, challenge, opportunity relate to? What desire or dream of yours does this challenge relate to? Sometimes our challenges bring us face to face with what we truly want, but hasn't fully been acknowledged yet. In other words, you're right at that fence. And if I can get over this fence, my desire, my achievement, my goal is right there. But something is in front of me and my achievement. And this is this fence. This is this obstacle. This is this challenge. What is this challenge trying to get me to see before I get to to my desire? That's the question we need to be asking. The third thing is see the opportunity is, you know, growth It's for growth. Everything we're doing here is for growth. So while you're in this experience, while you're in this 3D environment, while you're in this body, ask yourself, how can this situation help me grow? If you change your perspective, you know, you always see the pros, you always see the glass half full, your life will begin to present itself that way. Why? Because everything is perspective and it has to do with your perspective, your perception. I tell you, I fought it tooth and nail when I was a young person in corporate America where I had a much older HR person tell me, you know, 
People perceive you this way. This is why you have challenges sometimes with get promotions. People perceive you as being distant and, and not very nice or not wanting to go to lunch with them. They, they perceive you a certain way when these things happen. And I thought, but that's not true. It doesn't matter if it's true to you. It is the perception that people have of you in terms of what is true for them. If you're in a relationship, it is all perception. You can say whatever you want to say. It is the perception of your partner as to how they feel about the relationship. So you've got to manage people's perception, uh, uh, perceptions. And you need to really manage your perspective. So when you're going through these things in life, it's your perception, your perspective of what's taking place as to the sense of urgency and the, and the inspired action you need to take in order to remedy this. Or is there any action needed to be taken at all? So number three is the opportunity is growth. The obstacle is likely going to uh, guide you to developing a new skill a new mindset, or even a level of resistance that's necessary for your journey. Whatever's happening now is necessary for your journey. Number four is accept the challenge as a path to your desire. This is But it's happening. And so, you know, if I sit and fight against what is, that is a losing battle acceptance. Why? Because it is. There's nothing you can do about it. What has happened has happened. Um, so accept and then move. Recognize that the challenge is often a unique way to achieve your goals, often through the lessons that will strengthen you and will help you to sustain yourself when you are successful with achieving your goal. You got through this. You got to your goal, your achievement, and now you can sustain it because you have that second layer of resilience because of what it took for you to get here. You won't take it for granted. Lastly, act with confidence and with gratitude. This is like one of my favorite parts of it. When you go out with confidence, it's not so much that you want to do this, right? You don't necessarily want to go through a divorce, right? To be happy five years down the line. Well, you don't want to go through it now because it feels bad now. It's going to feel great later when you're with the person you're really supposed to be with. But right now, it kind of sucks. You know, you got court dates, you got to divvy up assets, and you got to clean out the house, and all that doesn't feel great. But five years down the road, you're going to be with the person that you really need to be with in a new home, in a new life, and it's going to feel great. Uh, so approach it with confidence, knowing that all doesn't feel great right now. This is the step that needs to take place. And show gratitude and everything. Show gratitude. Embrace the challenge with gratitude, knowing that it is refining you for your desired outcome. Move forward with confidence that each step brings you closer to your goal, to what you want. And that's the way to look at life. Every time something happens, whether it is desired or undesired, look at it the same way. This is something that is moving me closer to my goal. This is something that is making me the uh, person, the type of person that owns several businesses, the type of person that is in a long-term relationship, the type of person that is a corporate executive, the type of person that has a healthy, sustainable body, okay? It's very difficult, I would imagine. I've never had to do this, but I can imagine if you've had to lose a couple hundred pounds in order to get into the body size and shape that is sustainable and healthy, you know, for longevity. It's got to be incredibly difficult, but it's got to start. You got to embrace it. And I'm suggesting that you look at it from the big perspective and then you follow these steps knowing with confidence, with gratitude that you're going to get to your goal. So this is something that you can listen to over and over again, because no matter where you are in life, uh, we hit these blocks sometimes. We have challenges and we need to be reminded that we're not the little me. We are the big eye. And that although it feels like it's happening to us, it's really not. It's really not. It's all in perspective. Everything's under control. Uh, we live in a cosmos, not a chaos. And you are connected to Christ consciousness and to source energy. And everything really does work together for your good. 
It really does. If you believe that everything really can and does work for your good. So why don't you try uh, this new perspective technique today? And then let me know in the comments how it is working for you. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the podcast. Please share, share our content with someone, your family member, loved one, friend, or associate. You listen all the way through. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to check out our website. Uh, We've got some free downloads for you as well. Thank you guys. Check us out again tomorrow. We'll have another great podcast. Thanks. Thank you.